Greetings guys, this is Dogcraft and today we are driving the Cromwell B. I'm showing you guys a other replay and this is a replay from the Cromwell B that um, yeah it's a game I had on the day when the version 9.8 just got released for World of Tanks on the European server. So what that means, Sand River has been dramatically changed and I immediately wanted to find out a new meta. So what I did, I knew that there was a new mid ridge here so where I see me drive right now and I thought that this could be a very dominant position to dominate the whole of the map so we're going to see how it goes and there we go most of the people think that this is still the old map so they don't know that there's a mid ridge right here so I can make full use of that and I spotted almost the whole enemy team getting towards the other side of the map I have to be careful though because I'm exposing myself to a lot of tanks also artillery works to take a pond at me this is a position not for beginners, so you really need to do, know what you're doing. Artillery tracks me there, so luckily I'm in safe. I can't get hit from the guys back there. But it seems fine so far. I know what tanks are going to be on the other flank. And it is very likely now that the other tanks that I haven't spotted are going to be on the other flank of this map. A very dominant position as you can see this guy is in the open for me and I can just keep shooting him and then he yeah, decides to reverse which gives me even easier shots at him so no problem I can just easily take him out which the great rate of fire of the Cromwell B enables me to. As you know I love the real British Cromwell that is in the game that you can buy for credits but when I saw that uh, Wargaming were going to release new premium tanks of the Berlin Trio I just had to buy this Cromwell because it's a British Cromwell but then even better. This thing has got better soft stats so it can drive better on uh, most terrains that the Cromwell can't. Uh, yeah, not such a big difference but... Uh, it still has better mobility. Also, tra the traverse speed of the Cromwell, the British Cromwell in the game, is 36 degrees. And the traverse speed of the Cromwell B is 50 degrees. That is a hell of a lot better. So, this tank is even a better Cromwell. The gun is precisely the same. Although, I thought that it wasn't going to be the same because it looks like a stock gun. It doesn't look like the same on the real British Cromwell. But this is... Precisely the same gun. It uh, has almost no armor, as you guys know, but it, it has just enough armor to not get penetrated by HE shells, which is really handy, of course. And this thing is, of course, very highly mobile, as you can see. I used my mobility in the start of the game to get towards this position, and now I am just feasting on everyone who still thinks that the map is still going to be the same. But this was the first game I played on Sand River and I immediately find out that this was going to be a new matter. But I haven't played on Sand River ever since. So, yeah. I don't know how people think about this at the moment. But we'll see. As you can see, the aim time of the Cromwell is rather long. This is the only disadvantage. And that long aim time screws me over and gets me my ammo rack destroyed but oh god an unexpected Jack Pencil 4 comes in he drives around and I track him in position and he can't do anything really nice shot from me there by tracking that Jack Panzer so that he was unable to get me always when you are engaging tank destroyers who have, don't have got a turret tracking them is always going to be in your advantage now that I can see that that VK is over there, I can just engage this KV-85 without having to worry driving in the open. Because this guy is going to be yeah, exposed to a lot of fire and there is no enemy tank um, able to put pressure onto me. So I can just pick apart this KV-85 without a problem. And now the enemy have made a really big mistake. The Cromwell B is on the hill back there. And there is a Hetzer and the artillery are very likely to still be in base. So I've got a free run into the enemy base now. I can just kill this Hetzer now. Without any problems whatsoever. There we go. And now I have a 
free run into the enemy base so that I can kill the enemy artillery. So I have 5 kills and 1700 damage which is a really good result for a tier 6 tank if you um, consider that a high caliber medal is around 1600 damage in a tier 6 game depending on how much tier 6 tanks there are in the game then this would be a high caliber medal. So I'm really happy with this result already. But we're not done yet. We're picking apart this grille and picking up my top gun. So we've got almost 2000 damage now. Really good game so far. I only have to find the last remaining artillery and then we are going to be done here. It's very likely that he's going to be back there, but the Cromwell B is driving there and he didn't get spotted, but there he is. The other Cromwell B is also show- Oh, the artillery misses. I miss again. I'm going to stand in front of him so that I make sure that I get the kill here. So, really great game for the Cromwell B. 2,058 damage done. 7 kills. Let's now take a look at the post-game stats. What we have yeah enabled to do in this game so guys here we go we are looking at the stats of the game I just showed you I got a first class medal in the Cornwall B I got a fire for effect token a duelist token a hand of gods token and a bruiser token that 2000 damage enabled me to get the high caliber medal I killed seven tanks so I got a top gun medal and I spotted nine tanks which gave me the scout medal I ended up top on damage on our team by damage kills and on experience as you can see I got 1331 base experience which only is a first class for the Cromwell B I'm really trying to get the ace tank in this tank but I have had multiple games wherein I got 1300 basic speed and still get haven't gotten the ace tanker badge but that will come I have all the faith in the world that I will get that Ace Tanker medal once. But we'll see. In this match I fired 35 shots. Which only had. Yeah. From which only hit 22. And I only penetrated 18. Which is pretty bad. But that is. Yeah. That, that's just the Cromwell B. The Cromwell B doesn't have a very good aim time. So you need to aim very long. And sometimes you need to cha take chancy shots. Um also taking the risk that a lot of shots will miss but yeah this is just a result of the poor aim time on the Cromwell B got very good damage total in a tier 6 game really happy about that I spotted nine tanks nine tanks um, and of those nine tanks that I spotted I destroyed seven I only did 400 spotting damage slash assistance damage it's less than I would expect it but anyway yeah it happened I only had to travel 2.2 kilometers to achieve this game because I only had to get towards that mid ridge and that was pretty much it. But for the rest I got a really healthy profit because uh, at the time I still had a premium account because the Cromwell B came with 30 days of premium. So I got a really healthy amount of credits out of that even if I had a non premium account I would have gotten a very good profit out of that game. So I'm really happy that I picked up this uh, Cromwell B. So guys, to keep a long story short, I didn't have time to make a very long video this weekend because I have a lot of tests next week. Also, the week after that, I'm going to have a lot of tests. But after that, I only have two hours school a day in the week. And after that, I have um, no school for four days in the week. So I am going to have... A lot of free time after that and I will be making a lot of videos and content for you guys. Maybe in that week it is the time that we're going to plan the live stream somewhere. And I really look forward to a live stream with you guys. So I'm really going to have to think about how I'm going to make people watch the live stream. Because I love getting watched of course. But to keep a long story short this was the video. And I hope you still liked the video although it wasn't a very long one. Let me know what you think about this uh, kind of series. Do you still like this uh, showing off my replays and what I think during a battle? Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.